everyone good morning it's me Shalama I am in my garden this morning with my cup of um, cinnamon tea and there are some I, I would like to share the improvement of my garden and what's growing and what's not growing and what stuff like that so over here these are uh, my pepper tree and now they started having flower and it seems like something came in my garden even though i have a fence up and they eat the top of this pepper tree right here and um they eat all my sunflowers up over here is my hot cherry pepper and they bloom look at those cherry pepper bags look at pepper look at the size of those cherry pepper and they are loaded with pepper right there they are like really big really big pepper there's a bunch over here and they are loaded from top you can see they're loaded from top to bottom and they're still blooming there's a lot of pepper and i have a few too here and um that's what's going on there over there and something got one of my okra tree so i think i have to put something down i gotta go get something at the store today because they eat top of my okra tree the leaf and i have no idea how they got in and because i have a fence i put on a uh, put a temporary fence around the garden so i have no idea how they got in so um over here is my habanero pepper plant. They also got the some of it. And um, there, my habanero, you can see, they have pepper in it. There's pepper all the way down. Oh my God, I never see habanero grow like that. Guys, I wanna give you a good look. Look at all that pepper down there, all the way down to the root. And they all have pepper on it. I love it. Look at those pepper. All those pepper coming up. Over here. Look at that. Look at those pepper. They are. They almost looks like ghost pepper. But it's not ghost pepper. It's a habanero I bought. And I put, put it down. And they all have pepper all the way down. They all have pepper. What's going on over here? These are some of my flower. I am going to water my garden after I finish my cup of tea. And I am going to show you guys what I got under here. This is my squash. My summer squash, as you can see, it took over. And it's growing beautifully. And as growing beautiful, I have squash. I'll show it to you. I have to go in under it and show you guys all the beautiful squash. Okay, guys, look at those. That is big. There's another one behind it. If you look over here, there's another one behind it. Right there. Look at that. There's more. I have to go to the other side. And I have to clip some of the yellow leaf off of it. So I'm going to be working today. In my garden, my husband is off from work today, and um, he will help me put some um, a, a first layer of plastic. And as you can see, I have rocks in my garden, so the front part is not finished yet. So we're gonna do that. So let's get to the squash. I want you guys to see this. My lord, look at this! Look at that! I don't know. My phone is not that big that squash is almost from top all the way down there there's another one behind there from top all the way down there and it's still giving more and it's going on top of my greenhouse and I have no idea what's gonna grow on top of the greenhouse right now so that's what's going on here that's my squash, my summer squash. And I love it. And as you come over here, there's some more pepper. Oh, I forgot to share with you guys. These are my spinach from 
Guyana. Those are all my Guyana spinach. And I am going to harvest some to cook. And if you if I go along, this is the chair I brought out with my tea on there. And um there's more spinach over there. As you can see how wide the leaves are. How wide the leaves are. So I'm gonna harvest some of these today. See they're growing with the vine. So I'm gonna get some of that to cook. There's more hot cherry pepper over here growing. You, as you can see, they got a lot of peppers. There's a Thai chili over there. There's another cherry pepper. These plant I did not bought. My um my husband friend gave it to us. There's jalapeno over there, and this is a jalapeno over here. And those are Thai chili, Thai chili over there, those two. And over here, what do we have? More spinach from my country, Diana. And these are just start growing, so I have to clean the beds. This is the only bed didn't get mulch, but I will get to it. Um, there's a lot to do in my garden. And um, I am going to share with you guys. And there's some beets over here growing. There's more beets over there growing. And as you come here, they got my they got my rose bushes. I was out here only last night, but I don't know how they get in. I don't know how they got in. That's the thing. I have no idea how they got in. I have to figure something out. Otherwise, they're gonna eat my garden up. And my flowers are doing good all the way across over here. All this here, all here is my flower. And um, they got my sunflower again. See? They eat all the whole top of all my sunflower. They got them pretty good. But one thing they don't touch. I, I don't know if they don't like tomato plants. But these are my tomato plants, guys. Those are my tomato plants, as you can see. And I'm going to show you my tomato plants are loaded. As you can see, they're tomato we are going to harvest some today. There's tomato. And as I come around here, guys, look at tomato over there. Look at those tomato. Look at tomato. Those are a lot of tomatoes. There are tons of tomatoes on this plant too. Look at it. They're all tomatoes in there. Look at tomatoes. Oh my God. This year I have a lots and lots of tomato guys look at these look at this oh my god look at all that tomato over here as you can see over there if i there's cherry tomato uh, ready to pick there's my cherry tomatoes and i could tell you the tomato like the sun one of them over there got um probably it's no good but I am going to harvest tomato today. My beans are doing good. They just started blooming and uh, whatnot. Hopefully I got some long beans soon. Oh, there's some of some of these. Some of those beans come up. I didn't see those. There's some in the back there. There's some in the back there too. So I will harvest those and this one here I am saving for seed. So um, as I go along, I have to tie these up. I brought zip ties to tie the tomato branches up. As I go around, as you can see, the deer got all my, um, eat all my sunflower, guys. Oh, there's, all the tops are gone off my sunflower. They didn't even get the chance to bloom. So they eat all of that. And here is my beans coming up, more beans. And this is my beans um, trellis over here. This whole side here is my beans trellis. Goes all the way down to there. That's all my beans. And my red spinach. And also they eat my red spinach too. They eat there, there, there. There's something big came in the garden last night. But I have no clue what. But I'm not happy. 
Okay, let's get back to the tomato. There's more tomato to pick. There's um, some big one down there to pick. Those are beef steak. And um, there's more over here. And there's a lot more in there to pick. My son wants to help me harvest the tomato. So we are going to do it when he got when he get up from when he wake up from sleeping. And here is my um what do you call that? Say um sage. This is my sage plant right here. I have my sage growing beautiful. There's more um Thai pepper. And as you can see, there's tomato. Look at tomato. There are tomato everywhere. Everywhere there's tomato and all the way to the top. So they needed some water today, so I am going to do that. My kale. Next year I have a different plan for my kale because they need more room and I did not know that they were gonna clump up that much. So next year my kale and my cabbage is gonna go in separate beds. And as you can see, something got to my cabbage. They are huge. They are like big, bigger than my hand. And I am going to harvest them before they start eating the whole cabbage. So I got six cabbage to harvest. So I'm gonna harvest some, share some with my sister and my neighbor. And I got one white eggplant coming up there, as you can see. There's a purple one here. Oh, something got to this one too. So we'll give that to the chickens. There's another one here. Give to the chickens. There's a big one there. There's another big one there. Those are getting harvested today for sure. And this is my flower over here. And my ghost pepper plant. I have, oh, now we start giving pepper. So I don't know why it's growing like that. There's my hibiscus. And I never plant ground cherry before. But guys, look at my ground cherry. Look how big it is. It is really, really big. And I see a few of them. Ground cherry. Look at that. There's ground cherry right here. As you can see, there's ground cherry on it. Yeah, the deer didn't get it. I am getting ground cherry. There is, if you can see, uh, there's one right there. Uh, where's my camera going? Right here. Right here. There's a bunch on it. Oh, that is so cool. I am getting ground cherry. There's more. So I love my ground cherry coming up really good. Good. There's my Ada hibiscus over there. Those are some pots that I made. Um, from leftovers cement that my husband they were there they put the foundation down in the garage so I asked him for a little bit extra and I made two pots so I'm gonna put those up there is one of my elephant um, plant there is the rhubarb that my neighbor gave me he's really growing really big and the stock is like really really big look at that and there from one little piece my neighbor gave to me and it's growing it's growing and as I come around here these are my moringa tree I picked uh, twice on them already and um, I let it grow and this one over here I did not plant and these I think these are cantaloupe so I just leave it in the tire and there are some little cantaloupe coming up so I just leave them there I didn't bother put anything in it so I never planned cantaloupe before so let's see what's gonna come out of that so that's a clump of cantaloupe I didn't even bother to transplant it I just leave them like that and um, over here there's some tomato grows I didn't plant and actually the deer got this one so I have to dig it up and put it down they got this too they got this one is another cantaloupe right here so they got that. Over here, these are some plants I'm gonna pull, take out, pick off the summer squash and take it out. Because my flower is growing and needs some air to grow. So I'm gonna take that out. There's more pepper. 
and over there I have my salary two of them is salary and over here is a um, similar um, to salary as you can see there's a beautiful butterfly flying around my garden here's a white one went all the way to the other side and as you can see I have to back up and as you can see that's my morning glory that I planted me and my daughter built a trellis for it and it climbs up to the trellis and it's going it's growing beautifully so as we come here there's my sweet potato that I put in the ground I did not grew it from the stem I just stick a sweet potato in there and it came up so there's my sweet potato there's more cherry tomatoes more cherry tomatoes there's tomato all the way down there I gotta clean that up today too there's more um, this is my Yukon gold potato in here and this is my second elephant ears look at that it's big I, it's like really big and actually i put three of them in here but there's only one came up so i don't know what happened with the other two but that's my second elephant ears and um something got into my garden and i am not happy i'm not happy about it but um Oh, I see footmarks. I don't know what kind of footmarks are those. But there was something big in my garden. I could see the foot. There's footprints right there. Could the size of that. And, of course, there's my red spinach. There's my red spinach, a whole bed of red spinach. And they eat the whole front of it. The whole front over here they eat and they eat the back of it. So I'm going to harvest some of this red spinach so I can have some and they're really good for you. So then I over here, over there, over here I am growing another running beans. I built that little thing. My husband helped me build the trellis but I have to put um, strings on it so it will climb up or maybe a few pieces of board more. So. I'll have that grows up to that and that's gonna be where I'm gonna plant it from now on I have more seed for those and over here it's my pumpkin patch so I haven't seen any pumpkin yet so this is what's going on in my garden right now guys that's my garden right there I love it. My husband gonna help me today so we could finish up putting rocks on this area here. We are going to put plastic down so the grass the grass doesn't grow back up into my garden like I did in the other part. So um, I'll give you guys a, a second tour. And um, I love it with the rocks and the way the rocks look. And as you can see, that's my garden and it is beautiful I love it I love it I love it I love it so guys if you like this update of my garden and um, if you like this video please like share and subscribe thank you guys so much for watching bye bye